All right, guys. Master of Abundance here. This is Jordan. Whatever you focus on grows. Really, take a look outside right now. You see the sun is shining on me. I'm out here in London. And what I'm realizing today is where I decide to put my energy, I'm exchanging my attention for whatever I'm focusing on. And whatever I'm focusing on is going to grow and expand. So you see, in this universe, what you focus on focuses on you. And what you neglect, neglects you. So it's important to realize that all things are in existence simultaneously every single time. Anything you can possibly imagine is right at your fingertips. Any reality, any positive, negative truths, beliefs, systems, everything, it all exists. And you're the creator of your own universe. You're the creator of your own life. You're the governor, the president of your life. You're the one that gets to make the decisions. You're the director of your own movie. You're the star role. You're the star player on the team. That's you. This is your life. It's not anyone else's life. So knowing that, with that being said, focus on what serves you. Let go. Let go of old habits that no longer serve you. And embrace habits that actually do serve you. And, and realize, that, realize that what you focus on is going to expand and grow. So focus on how is going to happen. Focus on that it is already happening. Focus that it's already done. Thank you. I receive it. And be grateful every single day. Be grateful each and every single day. I talk about this all the time. And it's, it's not for no reason. You know, when you're really just emitting the frequency of love and gratitude on a, on a nonstop day-to-day -day basis... You know, you're going to attract feelings, thoughts, situations, opportunities, relationships that align with your vibrational frequency. And the situation you are in right now, at this moment, you're the one that created it. So with that being said, you're going to be the one that creates your future as well. So it's important to take action now based off what your future is going to look like, based off the person that you're becoming. Not, not who you've been, not what you've done, not where you came from, but where are you going let go of the past, forgive yourself, unattach yourself from the idea of who you are, and become who you came here to be. Become who you came here to be. Don't be that guy that you're always complaining, you're always thinking about what I did wrong, this is that. Forgive yourself. You need to heal and understand that we are on this universe to learn and evolve and ascend. We're here to raise the vibration of the planet. We're here to go through these trials and tribulations, to go through these challenges in evolution of human life. We're here to experience that. We're in the great mass awakening of the planet is happening right now. We're in the age of the Aquarius. You know, we're letting go of these old, outdated systems of school, religion, ideas about money, education, um, health. You know, all these different things, we're realizing that this is not, this is not true. This is, this is not our story. This is his story. History, you know, really question, really question the things we believe growing up because the information that you're receiving daily, especially when it comes to schools and religions, is completely controlled information programmed information like i said guys all information that has ever existed is still in existence and will forever exist therefore what we are hearing from the media is programmed information religion schools colleges especially in high school you know all the schools you know it makes you wonder who is giving us this information and why are they wanting everyone to have the same information, knowing that it's not even our truth. It's not even our truth. It's not our divine truth. It's what was told to us. It's what we were programmed to believe. And when you realize that your beliefs create your reality, your belief system creates your life. Don't overlook this statement. Your belief systems create your life, your BS. That's why it's all BS. What you believe to this moment, well, you were programmed to believe that. It wasn't your choice. You didn't have free will. You grew up automatically with your subconscious mind wide open, information shoved down your head, 
and that's what your perception of reality was by default you had no choice but that's why we're in the age of information right now the age of aquarius people are waking up and removing themselves from this matrix and you know it starts with a few different things guys you have to decalcify your pineal gland you have to decalcify why do you think they're giving us all these artificial sweeteners they're giving us all these white sugars they're giving us these greasy foods lowering the vibration of us which kills all desire to achieve more when you vibration is lowered by the foods by the media by the music guys don't even get me started with the music and the different hurts that they're putting out there you know like we can get really deep into this but i'm gonna keep this simple and short and sweet video for you realize do your own research the mass media is programmed and your information that you're receiving is not the real information is what they want you to think is what you want they want you to hear the the stuff you've learned in school you know 90 percent of the things in the history books aren't even true you know it really makes you wonder what really happened and not only what really happened but you're only getting the story of the people that won the war that's it and in a in an era that didn't have this type of technology that we have today you know whose information are we really getting we're getting the one person's perspective and you know when you really realize that nothing is true but everything is permitted when you realize that my perspective is no better than yours and yours is no better than mine i'm not right or wrong and neither are you we just both have different perspectives okay but when you are told information don't just blindly accept it it's important when you are listening you know knowing that to not get too deep and overthink the whole thing the whole process let your intuition guide you number one let your intuition guide you and listen to people that have already done what it is that you want to do. Listen to people that are doing what you want to do. Whether that's a level of success, wealth, health, happiness, peace within themselves, whatever the case may be. Listen to those people because why? They've already done it. That's why growing up, I was never the person that was too inclined to listen in school. And a lot of you probably are with me on this. I never, it never made sense to me that I'm, I'm listening to people, although I have, I have utmost respect for teachers. My mother is a teacher, okay? She's a first grade teacher. I have utmost respect. They're changing the lives in the positive way. They're doing everything they know how to do, okay? That, with that being said, even the information that the teachers are receiving in their education was programmed brainwashed information to control the masses, okay? So with that being said, I realized that me as a kid, I have big dreams, I have big visions. I wanna do this and I wanna do this. And the people I'm learning from, they don't have the results I want. So it, it, like, it just made me have a, just a little bit less respect and willing to listen to these people. No, nothing bad against them, like 100%, I, I do. Like I'm not gonna say I disrespect, I didn't disrespect my teachers, I was always kind and I listened and things like that. But as far as practical advice on my future, I just couldn't get myself to listen to them. And once I really got involved in Forex and education and started getting actual mentorship from people that were much more successful than people I've met up until that point, I started to realize, wow, it's like all these things I believed and was thinking in my head, wow, I'm not the only one. Um, there's actually other people out there that think like this. And I started to get mentorship by all these people making seven figures, eight figures and whatever. And, you know, it's not about the money, but the money comes externally after your internal wealth, okay? Inner peace is the beginning of all, of everything. Like, everything, you have to love yourself first. You have to love yourself first. A lot of times people are searching outside of themselves to find peace within themselves. And that's just not the way it works. You gotta really love yourself inside first. And then what you want is gonna come okay but you know to be honest with you this is kind of a ramble video and i don't really know where i started this video but just some quick points that i, I just wanted to make and really help you understand and just wanted to share and express my gratitude and love just realize this guys love yourself and the world will love you look outside of yourself and you're gonna be in a constant state of lack in need and worry and doubt 99 percent belief is 100 percent disbelief that's what you have to realize today 
99% belief is 100% disbelief. You have to have 100% faith, 100% belief, no doubt in mind. The universe is ready to give you whatever you are ready to receive. There's this formula I learned from David Imanitia, one of my mentors. Desire plus skill times faith equals success. You have to have all of the pieces of the formula. The starting point of all achievement is a burning desire in your heart. The gateway to your heart is your eyes and your, or sorry, your eyes and your ears. Listening to positive, inspirational things and people seeing things is going to take you to the next level. Realizing that we're doing this for the evolution of us. We're not doing this for someone else. We're not doing this for recognition. We're not doing this for personal greed and become great today because you can you owe it to yourself you owe it to the people around you why would you not be great why wouldn't you be the best version of you like what are you waiting on like literally think about this today become great become the best version of you what is stopping you get out of your own way let's get to the next level straight up no cap quit making excuses and make it happen quit making excuses and make it happen you hear the vibes we're hearing the vibes because why you have to feel good now that's the key because however you feel is what you're attracting and a lot of people know this information but they don't really know the information because to know and not do is to not know it all and knowledge is not power applied knowledge i know so many people and this is no disrespect 100 percent I give respect where it's due, but understand this, guys. I know too many people that they think they know all these things and they don't do it, guys. You can't take the training wheels off success. If you've been successful and you've created some level of success, you know that it came from you listening to someone that had more results than you. You know that's why you got there because you got mentored to, to these things. You knew that you wrote down your goals, you did your affirmations, you took massive action, and you felt the feeling of the next level. That's that's how you did it. And if you haven't done it, you're gonna have to do it for the first time. But if you've done it before, you're gonna have to do it again. You can't take the training wheels off success. You can't be that guy that gets to a level of success and then stops doing what you did to get there, okay? Don't be the guy that's like, oh, I know that. I, I Oh yeah, I know that. No, you don't. You literally don't know that. If you have not gotten the results that you want, you don't know the information well enough because the best way to learn something is not by learning it or teaching it, it's by doing it. That's what you gotta realize today. Be that person that takes the action. Stop waiting for someone else to get you to where you wanna go. Stop worried about gathering all the information, the how-tos, the well, let me just make the perfect plan and then I'll like stop the bullshit. Stop the BS, do it. Just do what you gotta do. You're, you're, this is your life, this is your life. No one is going to put in the work for you and realize this as well. With that being said, it's not about the work you do. It's about the feeling you're putting out. It's about the vibration you're putting out. And a lot of times when you are putting out the right frequency, you want to take the action or you taking the action makes you and helps you feel the feeling. Okay, those are the two truths that I've known to be true. But with that being said, if you're working so hard and it's this whole thing like, I gotta do this, 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 you're causing so much resistance. You're causing, it doesn't have to be that difficult. And someone that, for example, Gary V, someone that I respect, he's had, he has a lot more results than I have, but realize that his process and his perspective of things, he's, he's someone that I listen to, but I don't listen to at the same time because his perception is, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna take a lot of time. It's don't be in a rush. And, you know, that may be true for him, but what I've seen is I'm listening to the people that, for example, Kevin Trudeau made a million dollars at 15 years old. I'm listening to him. I'm not, you know, Gary V, 100% all respect to him. He, the way he did it, the way someone else does it doesn't necessarily have to be the way you do it. But with that being said, listen to someone that has the information and results that you want. That's, it's as simple as that. And stop just listening to them, but do what they say. Like, do what they say, literally. Don't want to be that person that just takes notes, take notes. Wow, I love I love this speaker. This person's so motivational. It makes me feel good. Awesome. That's why don't you be that person? Why do I see so many people that have been sitting on the sidelines for the last year? Like being involved in business and network marketing and forex and you know, 
personal development, whatever, I see so many people that are the best cheerleaders I've ever seen. Why aren't you going to get off the bench and get in the game? Get off the bench and the sidelines and get in the game. Stop being so afraid. Your fears don't exist. False evidence appearing real. It doesn't really exist. It's all in your head. Your entire world is in your head. Everything that you think is what's creating your life. Your thoughts have created your life up to this point. Therefore, your thoughts are going to create your life in the future as well. Because what you've done in the past, you can't change it. But what you can change is what you decide to do now. Now is the only thing you can control. Don't worry about the future. Don't worry about the past. You can't change the past. And the future will take care of itself when you take care of the present. That's what's important. That's what you must truly realize. Your future will play itself out how it's supposed to and how it the most aligned and efficient way. Don't put a limit on what the universe can give you and don't try to figure out the method or the path or the how you're going to do this. You're putting limits everywhere. Remove the limits and just what do you really want and let the universe guide you to that. Don't be that person that overplans. I've been there. I've done that. It doesn't work. You're, you're creating resistance by overplanning, by overanalyzing. Analysis creates paralysis. Analysis creates paralysis. Take action. Your first action is right because there is no wrong or right decision. There's no wrong or right choice. There's just a choice. And successful people make decisions fast and change their mind slow. Don't be that person that's let me just think, 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 because at that point in time, you're not in the flow. You're not, you're not acting based off intuition. You're, you're acting based off your analytical mind and you're thinking too much. You're thinking way too much. Just, just do it. Take action now and focus on feeling good in it. And your thoughts are going to align with your feelings at the end of the day. And you're, you're going to create new neural pathways in your brain. You're really, you're really going to get yourself to where you want to go. And you know, I'll pretty much leave the video at this point. I'll leave it at this point. Master of Abundance. Shout out to I Am. Shout out to Boo. I Am Clothing. Master of Abundance. You can get the t-shirts, the jumpers, all this. I'm going to put the link in the bot or in the description. I'll put the link in the description. But I appreciate you guys watching this video all the way to the end. Much love. Peace. Blessings. Namaste.